डॉक्टर पंचोलिया थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग आवर टाइम एंड डिस्कसिंग विद अस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट टुडे मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिजीज विच इज अफेक्टिंग द वेस्टर्न एज वेल एज द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन एंड वी वी ऑल आर इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग अबाउट योर वर्क ऑन हाउ द मेटाबॉलिक सिंड्रोम इन इंडियंस इज डिफरेंट और सेम एज कम्पेयर टू द वेस्टर्न पॉपुलेशन Uh, as you know the metabolic syndrome is the cluster of uh, cardiovascular risk factors like hypertension dyslipidemia adiposity and insulin resistance and uh, when it is associated with other risk factors may leads to coronary artery disease with a high cvd and uh, high uh, this um, all cause mortality now there are different definitions proposed by different agencies uh, and uh, the most suitable related to the indians are the idf criteria that is uh, central obesity on one part and uh, uh, when the this waist circumference of 90 cm for male and the 80 cm more than 80 cm for female is the obesity and uh, when the triglycerides more than 150 hdl less than 40 in male and less than 15 in female blood pressure 130 by 85 and beyond and uh, fasting plasma glucose of 100 100 mg per deciliter then it constitutes the metabolic syndrome and that actually fits into the indian criteria also uh, indians in fact have a low bmi and have a high percentage of body fat particularly intra abdominal fat and uh, fat at the ectopic sites also the liver muscles and all those so that is a basic difference and uh, there was a uh, yy hypothesis which has been created the the indian yajnik and uh, british uh, yutkin and they found that the bmi was same in the both the, both the, both the uh, people but the body fat percentage of uh, to the indian is 22% and it is only 9% to the british so with the similar bmi we have a high fat percentage so that is a basic difference between indian and the caucasians apart from that the uh, the, the asian indians so they have high uh, hepatic triglycerides also high intramyocellular fat percentage also and they have high crp also it is uh, inflammatory markers as compared to the caucasians which has been reported and the most important component of the metabolic syndrome is diabetes which is also highly prevalent in indians as compared to the caucasians with the insulin resistance more then glucose disposal is more which is all uh, related to the indians so th- that's why the indians are different from the caucasians yeah thin fat uh, indians we call uh, thi- say yeah thin so fat how does a doctor or a, or or a patient should uh, judge uh, actually means you you said about 90 cm in male and uh, 80 cm in female that is one of the most important factors for abdominal obesity mm. uh, is that what you are referring to to be the first marker rather than the bmi or bmi it should be chosen or no waist circumference should be chosen rather than bmi rather than bmi yes. mm. because bmi may be false indicator yes sir uh, any other differences you you mentioned about diabetes also being very common in india as mm-hmm. compared to the western population mm-hmm. so are indians prone to diabetes even when they are normal weight or uh, even even with the normal weight the, the the lean body also they have insulin resistance and uh, another uh, another issue is related to the thrifty genotype and phenotype uh, related to the maladaption uh, during the crisis so that is related to the uh, related more to the indians any particular reasons why this is happening with us at this part of time uh b- because of uh, several uh, lifestyle factors which contribute more to the indians the lack of exercise less consumption of fresh fruits and vegetables uh, more uh, abnormal dietary uh, pattern also we consume more carbohydrates as compared to the caucasians and there that is responsible for more hyperinsulinemia and postprandial hyperglycemia with the lower levels of uh, hdl and higher levels of triglycerides so lifestyle factor contributes more to why it, it, diabetes is more prone in indians number one and why metabolic syndrome is more prone in indians Yeah. another issue why why we have a more fat percentage as compared to the caucasians because the subcutaneous area in the caucasians is more so they they adjust or adopt uh, adipose tissues during the positive energy balance while uh, in case of uh, this asian indians they have a less uh, uh, capacity to adopt the adi- uh, this adipose tissue in the subcutaneous area and that it spills over into the intra abdominal area and the ectopic sites and therefore we have a uh, more fat percentage 
you mentioned about uh, these patients being at uh, risk of heart disease as well very high yes there is a particular age or any particular type of uh, heart diseases which they are prone to uh, th there is no no age with the metabolic syndrome with the with younger age also they are prone to get uh, this problem and uh, they have a more severity of the coronary artery disease more diffuse coronary artery disease uh, with, the, with the metabolic syndrome and they get early also and indians uh, they are they are getting metabolic syndrome and the, all the complications uh, 10 years early as compared to the caucasians at what age you would recommend that uh, doctor should start looking for a metabolic syndrome uh, right from the ch early childhood early because childhood. Uh, in india we are now observing more childhood obesity so why not to target right from that school age and how frequently the examination should be done and what should be the uh, preventive and treatment strategies uh, if we have we find uh, abnormal lipids then it should be checked every three months otherwise it is to be at a yearly interval and uh, same thing for the uh, for the for the blood sugar levels also insulin resistance also now uh, the homa ir has been checked regularly so that can be so hdl yeah, triglycerides insulin resistance all can be checked at the regular interval the theme of the con uh, the conference is prevention so any particular uh, strategies for preventing metabolic syndrome in indians uh, one is the lifestyle changes uh, change in the dietary pattern regular physical exercise less consumption of carbohydrates and the fats so that is one then the uh, uh, prevention of uh, development of diabetes from insulin uh, from uh, impaired uh, impaired glucose tolerance by by giving physical by physical exercise and by giving drugs also control of diabetes by anti diabetic drugs then control of lip dyslipidemia by lipid lowering drugs and control of hypertension by anti hypertensive drugs and the selection of the anti hypertensive would be more in uh, related to the ras blockers because ras blockers uh, in itself reduces the weight also by Uh, dis, uh, by distributing the fat so pharmacotherapy also plays a role in for pharmacotherapy and in general uh, what what uh, the once the patient get diagnosed with a particular condition mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned about pharmacotherapy mm -hmm. but in past there has been a concept of some preventive therapies as well mm -hmm. so like polypill and things like mm -hmm. that. any mm -hmm. any idea any opinion from you on that a so polypill is a new uh, the new concept and the new introduction in the preventive cardiology uh by targeting multiple risk factors with a with a simple uh, with a single capsule targeting hypertension targeting dyslipidemia and targeting uh, uh, this your thrombotic state also so in one polypill so that is a good concept and it is uh, more acceptable in indians because uh, of the poor compliance in indians so the compliance will be improved adherence to the therapy will be improved with polypill Okay thank you so much any thank final you. words sir from on the metabolic syndrome any final word any message to the audience uh, me message to the audience that uh, uh, be aware of the metabolic syndrome because it is highly uh, responsible for the coronary artery disease so uh, change in the lifestyle is very very important so uh, go for the regular exercise cut down your uh, fats and the carbohydrates in the diet avoid smoking and uh, control of your diabetes very very important in order to uh, prevent coronary artery disease in the future thank you thank you very much